One of the biggest sins that a man can do, or a woman, is with the tongue. You know, in the book of James it says the tongue is a world of iniquity. There's a lot of wildfires you can spread with your tongue. There's a lot of things you can say with your tongue that can bring a lot of destruction to not only others, but to yourself. This is the truth. And here is exactly what the false tongue of Robert Breaker is doing to the church. We today are under Paul's ministry. Not under Peter's ministry, not under Jesus' ministry, not under Jesus' ministry, not under Jesus' ministry. One of the biggest sins that a man can do, or a woman, is with the tongue. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, neither for the body, what you shall put on. <laughs> so Jesus says, don't think about working and making money and, and having food. And don't think about what you should wear. Matter of fact, don't ever buy a pair of clothes. Don't ever worry about eating. Just go out in the field and do whatever you want. And never worry about those things. Boy, you'd be in trouble, wouldn't you? The Bible says, and it's Paul actually, that says that a man that doesn't provide for his house is worse than an infidel. But yet Jesus is saying, don't worry about it. Don't go buy clothes. Don't even wear clothes. You don't need that. Don't even wear clothes. You don't need that. Don't worry about where you're going to get your next meal from. Just forget it, man. Sounds almost like a hippie, doesn't it? That's the way the hippies were. No, my lord, Jesus, is not a hippie, but lord of lords, and king of kings. What he said is, not to be like the world, not to go after earthly things. That's what he said. One of the biggest sins that a man can do, or a woman, is with the tongue. Well, people have emailed me and say, said many times, you know, Brother Breaker, I have a problem with masturbation, and I, I look at YouTube, and I look at pornography. What should I do? Well, if I were to tell them to follow Jesus, I would say, cut your right hand off and pluck out your right eyeball, and then you'll never have a problem with pornography again. That's what Jesus said! No, this is not what Jesus Christ said. But what Jesus Christ said was about adultery. Jesus Christ said, you have heard that it was said by them of old time, You shall not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looks on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if your right eye offend you, pluck it out, and cast it from you, for it is profitable for you that one of your organs should perish, and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. And if your right hand offend you, cut it off, and cast it from you. For it is profitable for you that one of your organs should perish, and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. What Jesus Christ said here, was about adultery. And we are true followers of Jesus Christ, for we are against, adultery. And you claim we're under Jesus' ministry. So where are all the Christians going around that don't have a right hand and don't have a right eyeball? People say, claim to be Christians and claim to follow Jesus, they don't do what Jesus said. One of the biggest sins that a man can do, or a woman, is with the tongue. Many years ago, there was in America what they called the Jesus Freaks. A bunch of long-haired hippies, many of them smoked pot, and lived out in communal areas. And they said, man, we love reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, man, we love Jesus, man. And they were a bunch of glorified hippies that claimed religion. But were they saved? No, 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 no. A thousand times no. All they were doing was following the teachings of Jesus Christ. All they were doing was following the teachings of Jesus Christ. Really? Is this really the truth? Did they follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, or did they follow the teachings of the New Age, Hinduism? All they were doing was following the teachings of Jesus Christ. One of the biggest sins that a man can do, or a woman, is with the tongue. And then Jesus beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, now watch this, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. So Jesus tells him, keep the commandments, and by the way, he didn't even mention all the commandments. I'll go ahead and put commandments. And then he says, Sell everything you have <laughs> and give to the poor. Now, how many people have done that that claim to be followers of Jesus Christ? I don't know one. People say, you're a liar, we're not under Paul's ministry, we're under Jesus' ministry. Okay then, if you're right, 
sell everything you have. No, no, no. You can't own anything. You have to sell everything you have and give every bit of it to the poor. When have you done that? You haven't. So you're a hypocrite. You claim to be a follower of Jesus, but you don't follow him. You own stuff. You have a car. You have money in the bank. You have things. You're a liar. Liars. No, we are not liars, but you are the one who lies to himself. You are a fool, a foolish man. Fools are wise in their own eyes failing to take in wisdom and advice. Did you not know that, Jesus Christ said, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle, than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ said this for the rich people, not for me, and you. Don't be a fool, a foolish man. Jesus said sell everything you have and give it to the poor. That's how you get eternal life. Bible said, Jesus says, out of abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A lot of times what a person says with their mouth is what they really are or what they really believe in their heart. And if you listen long enough, you really see who or what that person is. This is the truth. So far we have seen that you are rejecting our Lord, you are rejecting our Lord Jesus Christ. And we have seen, we have seen that you are deceiving people, deceiving people with your Antichrist false teachings. You go to YouTube and you say, I don't know, make a video exposing what you think someone did wrong or said wrong. Have you truly followed the Bible if you've not contacted that person first? As the Bible says, go to them first, to that brother. Uh, no, you have disobeyed the word, of, the word of truth if you have not contacted that person first and tried to explain them from the scriptures where they're wrong. Sorry, but this is a lie, a false accusation. For if you want the true Christians to correct you, you will not have all of your comments disabled. Shame on you, for using the Bible for false accusations against my brothers and sisters in Christ. Shame on you. One of the biggest sins that a man can do, or a woman, is with the tongue. And I have always preached, and I will always preach, that we're saved by believing the gospel. And I have always preached, and I will always preach, that we're saved by believing the gospel. Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. So, okay, let's look over here. Jesus' ministry. All right, Jesus' ministry, there's the gospel of the kingdom. Does that sound like the gospel of today? It doesn't sound like it to me. Does that sound like the gospel of today? It doesn't sound like it to me. And I have always preached, and I will always preach, that we're saved by believing the gospel. What the gospel of the kingdom sounds to you is not important. For Jesus Christ said, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. This gospel of the kingdom. Matthew 24 14. There's the gospel of the kingdom. Does that sound like the gospel of today? It doesn't sound like it to me. Every week I have a new sermon in English and Spanish. Isn't that sad? Never in the time of history have we ever had a, a day and age like we have today where someone has a platform that they can literally make a video and take their message to the entire world. What an amazing, amazing thing that I could literally say something and then throw it out there for the whole world to see. Isn't that sad? It's funny that the four or five times that someone has made a video against Robert Breaker, I see the same pattern happening over and over and over. They mean it toward harm for me or to try to destroy me in my ministry, but it always turns back on them. <laughs> and uh, I've seen it, and just about every time, if not every time, the video they, they put out gets more thumbs down than thumbs up. <laughs> this is true, there are more dislikes than likes. For our Father in Heaven said, Many are called, but few are chosen. May, our Father in Heaven bless you with his Holy Spirit of truth, and save you, from the many, false Christs, in this last days. Amen. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, When shall these things be? 
and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So, who are, those false Christs, that are coming in the name of Jesus? So, to find out who the false Christs are, first we must find out, who the true Christs are. Galatians 3.29 And if you be Christs, then you are Abraham's seed, and this is, according to the promise. Galatians 5.24 And they that are Christs, have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. So, the Bible tells us that the Christs are, the true Christians. And if the true Christs are, the true Christians, then, the false Christs are a false Christians. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Equals for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christian. And those false Christians, shall deceive many. Not under Jesus' ministry. Not under Jesus' ministry. But yet Jesus is saying, don't worry about it. Don't go buy clothes. Don't even wear clothes. You don't need that. Don't even wear clothes. You don't need that. Don't worry about where you're going to get your next meal from. Just forget it, man. Sounds almost like a hippie, doesn't it? That's the way the hippies were. Well, if I were to tell them to follow Jesus, I would say, cut your right hand off and pluck out your right eyeball. But were they saved? No, 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 no. A thousand times no. All they were doing was following the teachings of Jesus Christ. All they were doing was following the teachings of Jesus Christ. So, okay, let's look over here. Jesus' ministry. All right, Jesus' ministry, there's the gospel of the kingdom. Does that sound like the gospel of today? It doesn't sound like it to me. Does that sound like the gospel of today? It doesn't sound like it to me. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Equals for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christian. And those false Christians, shall deceive many. Now I'm going to ask a question. Can you, com can you complete what Jesus said to do? Can you keep the commandments of Jesus today? I'd really like to see you do it. It's almost impossible. Almost impossible? What is almost impossible for this false teacher? To keep the two commandments of Jesus Christ is not almost impossible, but very possible. Jesus said you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Are these two commandments almost impossible for this false teacher? Can you keep the commandments of Jesus today? I'd really like to see you do it. It's almost impossible. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's almost impossible. Almost impossible? What is almost impossible for this false teacher, is very possible, for me, and for all, true Christians like me. To love the truth, with all your heart, soul, and mind. And to love your neighbor as yourself, is very possible. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither knows him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. So, According to this false teacher, you cannot be born again, because he said, is almost impossible, almost impossible for you to keep the two commandments of Jesus. Equals to love Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. 
It's almost impossible. Why is love almost impossible to this false teacher? Here, here is what is the meaning of to love God and your neighbor as yourself. Are these two commandments almost impossible for this false teacher? 1 Corinthians chapter 13 Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not love, I am as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I had the gift of prophecy and knew all secrets and all knowledge, yea, if I had all faith so that I could remove mountains and had not love, I were nothing. And though I feed the poor with all my goods, and though I give my body that I be burned, and have not love, it profiteth me nothing. Love suffereth long, it is bountiful. Love envieth not. Love doth not boast itself, it is not puffed up. It doth no uncomely thing, it seeketh not her own thing. It is not provoked to anger, it thinketh no evil. It rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. It suffereth all things, it believeth all things. It hopeth all things, it endureth all things. Love doth never fall away. Though that prophesyings be abolished, or the tongue cease, or knowledge vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be abolished. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then shall we see face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, and love, even these three. But the chiefest of these is love. Almost impossible. So don't forget, love your neighbor as yourself. Bye. It's almost impossible.